is really happening, right? You're sitting there and you're alive and you're okay. Yeah. You haven't been shot, stabbed, you're not bleeding to death. Not as far as I know. I missed you. I missed you so much and I would have these dreams that you were dead and then I'd wake up and you weren't there with me and it was awful. I'm sorry, Tom. It was wrong of me to leave you. I'm going to be so mad at you. And I'm going to yell and I'm going to scream. But I can't do that right now. This is what I wanted. I wanted you to be with me safe and okay. I wanted to see you and tell you how much I loved you. I've been an idiot. Thinking that I had to rescue Jerry again, making it so important. When all that really mattered is you and the boys. Every day I was a prisoner. I kept kicking myself for leaving my life, my, my family. I promise. I will never leave you again. I promise. Call you. I had absolutely nothing to do with those men that threatened you and Elizabeth in the park. Really? Are we just supposed to take your word for them? Look, your children were threatened too. I would never wish that kind of terror on a child. I'm just glad that they're all right with no lasting effects. Thanks to Sam, they are. Look, I may dislike Sam, but she is the star of Everyday Heroes, and I need to keep her injury free and focused on the show. Get another star. <laughs> Recasting is a lot of trouble, and it usually ends up a disaster. Audiences are generally slow to accept a change. They'll tune out before they'll watch someone unfamiliar. This show is my livelihood, the biggest success I have had in my career. I'm not going to jeopardize it, regardless of my dislike for Sam. I had nothing to do with the incident in the park. I'm just glad that everyone is all right. I'm glad you have concerns for Sam's safety, so if you've got a few minutes, I'd like to go over some ideas to help tighten up security at the TV studio. I'd be happy to help however I can. <clears throat> Shall we grab a seat? Yeah. Um, why don't you two work out the details? I'm going to head home. Listen, I won't be long. Why don't you wait? And I'll... No, no, no. I'm perfectly okay. Listen, I don't want you to go home by yourself at night. Lucky, I parked in the valet, and you know the security at my hotel is great. So I'll just see you tomorrow. Sonny lives next door to the property I purchased here in Port Charles. Anything beyond that is personal. You're involved, then. Oh, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything. Kate, listen to me. Whatever you got going with Sonny, you got to break it off now. That man is psychotic. That's quite a serious charge, Trevor. No, hear me out. I was involved with Sonny's mother, Adela. Sonny was six years old at the time. And when Adela got pregnant with Richard, Sonny became so jealous, he pushed his own mother down a flight of stairs. No. No, Trevor, I'm sure that you're mistaken. The fall was probably an accident. He wanted to kill his brother even before he was born. <sighs> Evidently, he's just as dangerous. <laughs> Twenty minutes ago. He's threatened to kill me. I mean, it makes sense that Zuccaro would want to move into Port Charles, especially now that we got rid of Alcazar. I mean, we did have to work for him. How, how much do you know about Zuccaro? Okay, I'm telling you right now. If we fight, it's going to get ugly. And Trevor Lansing is his lawyer, if you know what I'm saying. Are you okay with... I mean, I hadn't, I hadn't seen Trevor since I was six years old. He, he's sitting, well, you're sitting just staring right at me. And it's not so much that, you know, it's a nightmare from the past. It's that he's a front man for the worst enemy I've, I've ever faced. And he's sleeping with somebody that, that I care about. Did Kate admit that? I should admit it, but I know they are. I mean, just, I mean, I know it shouldn't matter. I mean, I knew Kate 20 years ago. She comes into my life. She lives next door to me. And... 
who am I to say who she should sleep with? I guess the question is, can you keep it separate? It's not separate. Trevor is tied to me now, okay? With with Rick, with Kate, and I know, I know that Zakara knew that. That's why he picked them. No, to answer your question, I am close to this, maybe too close to this. I just need your, your objective opinion. All right, first of all, Zakara is the real problem. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I can't be objective. Rick has hurt almost everyone I care about. Now you're telling me that his father is just like him? I mean, how do we, how do we deal with someone like that? What do we do? We wait for them to make a move? Do we kill them before they make that move? Where's the line? When do we cross the line? We figure out what the downside is. What innocents could get hurt, who stands to lose. And then you protect your own. <laughs>